Food trucks are really growing in popularity and they're making their first appearance here at Glendale Glitter and Glow. I'm at the Short Leash Hot Dog mobile truck with owner Brad Moore and his wife Katz inside taking care of customers. Brad, you've got a really unique setup and rather than hot dog buns, you serve the sausages and dogs on naan. For those not familiar with naan, what is it? How'd you come up with that idea? It's, a, uh, it's an Indian style flatbread. It's unleavened bread. Uh, the reason we started using it was actually just out of my sheer pet peeve of hot dog buns. You, you know, when you put a large hot dog on there and you load it up with toppings, you take two bites and it just kind of falls apart on you. The great thing about the naan that we use, it doesn't break down, so it's fantastic. You can load it up with a, we use almost a quarter pound hot dog, and then when you load it up with a bunch of toppings from start to finish, it'll hold it all together. Is it accepted well? It is, it is. You know, we carry the traditional bun for kids because the kids are a little bit, a uh, little bit more apprehensive to try it, but the adults love it. Everybody that, once they try it, they're hooked. Now you got some out of the box creations yes. on the menu. Uh, tell us about the Igby. Uh, that's my personal favorite. It's uh, coleslaw, blue cheese, and a spicy barbecue sauce. It's, uh, I always say if you like those three components separately, you'll be amazed at how well they go together. Now another, I noticed another one, uh, I believe it's Ico, is that how it's uh -huh. pronounced? With yeah. chutney, mango chutney. Yeah, it's like a fresh fruit mango salsa. We make it ourselves, but it doesn't have that traditional tomato base that a salsa does. And it's uh, fresh mango, papaya, some other peppers and goodies thrown in there. It's, it's fantastic. Wow. Kind of creates a sweet and spicy combination. Okay, and the Oliver, tell us about that one. Yeah, that's kind of more your, a little bit more traditional. The sauerkraut, uh, Thousand Island and Swiss cheese, kind of more of a twist on a Reuben. Interesting. Yeah. Do, uh, is there one that people ask for more often than others than that? The Ico is probably our best seller. Um, and then the other one we have, it's called the Lady. It's uh, fried pickles, chipotle cream cheese, and sauteed onions. That's a, that's a real winner, too. A little bit more salty and savory. Now, customers can't customize their own, is that correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We carry um, about 25 different toppings. You can get creative and make your own. Uh, there's no limit to what you can put on it. I can't pronounce this one. It's sriracha sauce? Or? Yeah, it's a spicy red Korean sauce. You've probably seen it at a Japanese restaurant or two. Oh, okay. It's that, that kind of thick, kind of red pasty, spicy sauce. It's got a nice kick to it. Tell me about the uh, food the truck coalition. Mm -hmm. It's pretty new, isn't it? Yeah, so there was uh, a group of us that got together. We were sharing a lot of spaces at farmer's markets, and we just had this conversation that we should start a uh, association of sorts. And last year we started it. We had seven members initially, and now we're up to 32. So this food truck industry here in Phoenix is growing quickly, and I'd, I would anticipate this time next year we'll probably be double in size, probably close to 60 or 70. Does that surprise you at all? It does. It's uh, just so many more people that are interested in food trucks and starting their own business, and uh, it's a lot more cost-effective than trying to open a brick-and-mortar restaurant. You can kind of get your feet wet in this industry and, and kind of see if it's something you like. Your wife, Kat, was an interior designer, correct? And you were in banking and finance. Um, do you miss it? No, not at all. No, we're having an absolute blast with this. I always tell everybody that it's the, uh, it's the hardest work we've ever done, but by far the most gratifying thing we've ever done. Very good. Thanks for being here at Glitter and Glow. Thanks for having us. We really appreciate it.